with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When he saw the crowds, he went up this mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. And he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. This mindset, it helps us understand why so many of the Jews were upset during his ministry, especially those in the authority. Uh, looking around at what Jesus is saying and looking and saying, you know, we already have a priesthood, we already have a temple, we already have a Sanhedrin of 70 elders. And Jesus, in a sense, is saying, well, not for long. <laughs> And he's come to take back his kingdom from those wicked priests, those wicked shepherds. So even in the Mount of Beatitudes, we see this same idea of Jesus being a new Moses in the Sermon of the Mount. Over and over again, he says, you have heard that it was said, but I tell you this. He's saying, you have heard it said, what Moses wrote, but I tell you this this, taking the law even further, setting himself up as a new Moses. Just as Moses, in his birth, was persecuted, uh, the leader of the Egyptians tried to put him to death, so Jesus, the new Moses, is also persecuted, and King Herod tries to put him to death. Uh, just as Moses, when he was in the desert, went out and fasted for 40 days before receiving the law, so likewise Jesus fasts for 40 days and is tempted by the devil and then gives us the new law of the Beatitudes. It's amazing. It sheds so much light on all of these passages of sacred scripture. Jesus being the new Moses, leading a new exodus into the new and everlasting kingdom of God. It's beautiful, right? It's absolutely amazing. Now, we didn't read it in today's gospel, but my favorite part of this Sermon on the Mount uh, is actually not uh, the Beatitudes. It's actually not the Beatitudes. Uh, I love, uh, as he goes on further, he says that uh, you are the salt of the earth. You are the salt of the earth. G.K. Chesterton has this great uh, description of that phrase, you are the salt of the earth. Now precisely what makes salt so powerful is that it is so different from the meat that it seasons. So we, if we are to be the salt of the earth, must be utterly different from those around us, precisely so that we can actually season those around us, season the culture we are a part of. So we may, maybe we filled with that zeal to be different, to be influencers, to be modes of change in our culture, so that we might truly be the salt of the earth. 